a little undesirable. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Just y'all know what I mean. Here's to be just a little bit ghetto to me. A little bit ghetto, you know, a little bit hood. What's up, everybody? My name is Andrea. If you're new here, and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, welcome back to another video, and thanks for tuning back in. So, I told you guys in my living room tour video that I am going to be moving soon, and I finally started to do some apartment tours. Now, I'm not one to be looking at like 30 different complexes just to find a home. I narrowed it down to three. I liked them online, so I was pretty sure I was gonna like them in person and we're going to tour them together. Today will be the first one. Okay, so there are five things I'm looking for when it comes to my next home. One, location. I need it to be close to work and all the things I like to do. I need a Chick-fil-A nearby. I need to be close to home goods, anywhere I need to go. I don't like driving very far. So that's very important, um, especially with the gas shortage. <laughs> I'm sure that won't be a problem back in the future, but I don't like put gas in my car anyway. Two, storage. I'm a hoarder. I like to decorate. I like to put things away when I'm not feeling them. I bring them back out when I am. So I need storage. I have a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, just whatever. I need a lot of storage. Three is natural daylight. I need it, especially since I'm doing YouTube now. It's very important. And also I have found that being in this place, which is really dark, there are a lot of trees, keeps me cool in the summer in hot weather, but I'm not motivated to get up. It triggers like anxiety and just bad feelings I don't like to feel. So I really need that natural light to you know, naturally boost my energy, my mood. So that's really important to me in this next place. Four, I need a really good gym. I like to work out, not for anybody else, just for myself. I like to look at myself in the mirror and feel good. Being active is very important to me, my fitness journey, not only to look good on the outside, but to feel good on the inside and take care of my overall health. I don't need too many fancy things, treadmill, free weights, and maybe a few ab um, machines, not even machines, just stuff I can hold myself on to and work my core. And five, we need a good floor plan. Something open, something homey, something warm, something I want to come to at the end of a long work day, okay? So without further ado, let's hop into the tour.
Okay, so now you've seen it, let's talk about it. So one, location. It's not close to work, it's not that close, but it's not that far either. Um, I'm not sure I'm willing to drive that far. Now this place is downtown, and I was leery because you know, when you hear downtown, to me, there are two different downtowns. One is like, you know, nice, upscale, around all different restaurants and shopping, um, good walking trails, all that good stuff. And then you have the other downtown that's a little undesirable. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Just, y'all know what I mean. It appears to be just a little bit ghetto to me. A little bit ghetto, you know, a little bit hood. This place was on the undesirable part, which is fine. I don't judge anybody. We're all one paycheck away. But they were asking top dollar. And when I say top dollar, they were asking top dollar for this apartment. I'm like, y'all aren't y'all aren't even in the good part of downtown. So yeah, that was a no. Okay, in terms of storage, it was very minimal. If I was normal and didn't shop as much as I do, it might be okay, but I'm not. Like I said, I'm a little bit of a hoarder and I need somewhere to put my stuff. I'm not getting a storage unit, paying that on top of this high rent. So yeah, hated it. Hated it. <laughs> So with natural light in the living room and kitchen, bomb. No complaints in the living room and kitchen. So beautiful, chef's kiss, everything I dream of. The windows were as tall as the ceiling, so a lot of light was coming in. But if you look at the bedrooms and bathrooms in comparison to the living room and kitchen, there was like nothing. It was giving very much dungeon vibes and I'm just not into it. I didn't like it. Um, they tried to do a little bit of something with the primary bedroom with like a little like fake window to let some of the light from the living room into the primary bedroom, but it was still dungeony and dark and, and looked cold and I just hated it. Um, but if I could put a bedroom into the living room area, it'd be fine. However, that's, that's not practical. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 because only half of the apartment was lit. The gym. Unmatched. I've never seen anything like that in an apartment. It looked like something out of LA or something. Um, I didn't get any live footage just because there were people in there working out. And I know if I'm working out and somebody comes in there with the camera, I'm gonna be like, can you, like, I'm sweaty, I'm ugly, just <laughs> can you go away? So I didn't, you know, record anybody in there. I just showed you guys a picture. But when I tell you it was so, I have no complaints. A plus, A plus, A plus. Floor plan, I will give a, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, like I said, the living room and kitchen, very open. Everything I dream of, you know, the exposed brick, black frame windows, 16 foot ceilings. How can you not love this? The cement floors. But the bedrooms were just subpar to me. Like, especially in the guest bedroom, there was like this huge like beam or... I don't know, a column, whatever you want to call it, like in this awkward space that would, you know, just block you from putting a TV right there or just limit you to how you can decorate the space. So I'm going to give that, that like an 8 out of 10. I, I wasn't like wowed with the first part of the apartment, but towards the back, we were good to go. I don't know if you guys peeped it, but there was a doorbell. Each apartment comes with its own doorbell, and I thought that was so cute and so homey. The amenities were great. I will say I'm not a big amenity person. I never use anything at an apartment complex except for like the gym. The place I'm at now has a movie theater, and I've never been down there, like ever. It has a pool, tennis court. I, I just... I be in and out and I like to be in my house. So I really don't use amenities that much, but their amenities were amazing. They had a wine cellar, which um, she told me they do a wine tasting once a month. I don't drink, so that wouldn't benefit me, but everybody around me does. So I could take them down there to entertain. Um, they had a steam room. I watched too many scary movies to go in there, but that was great, you know? Um, bike storage was good. Um, I was thinking, who's riding their bike around here? <laughs> Because like I said, it was 
questionable. The neighborhood was questionable. But it, uh, there were so many bikes down there, so I guess it was fine. I, I don't know. I'm just, like I said, I watch a lot of movies, a lot of scary movies at that. And I'm a little bit of an extremist. So those things wouldn't benefit me, but it was nice that they had them. Their movie theater was nice. You could, um, she told me you could rent them out for like 24 hours. So you can have like a little sleepover party down there. They give you free popcorn when you do rent them out. So it was pretty cool. And also the uh, tour guide or the associate told me that um, they have this little gardening like situation. So if you do like the garden, um, there's this like um, area you can take your plants, kind of like a nursery. And if you're out of town, you can tell whoever runs it and they'll water your plants for you. I don't do plants. I've had a money tree <laughs> that I have been trying to bring back to health. I don't know how you can kill a money tree because it's supposed to be really low maintenance. So that wouldn't be a benefit to me, but it was cool. Um, the grilling area actually had cable and internet so very good to entertain this place is very good for entertaining but I'm not swayed I'm not convinced that this is where I want to live next we have two more places that I want to go and I will be taking you guys on those tours with me so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing don't forget to like comment and share and I will see you guys in my next video but until then peace out